Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial today, and this is going to be focusing on dying and respawning. Now, we're going to just do a simple application of this. So you imagine that in my scene right now is we've got some sort of uh, planks we could do in a sort of platformer game. And I've got some water, and you've got to imagine that if you fall into this water, you know, it could be poisonous or it might have sharks or something, and you could die when you actually touch it. Could be apparent for a 2D game, a 3D game, whatever you want to do. But you want to find about a way to respawn the character or move its position back to somewhere that you want. So, if you imagine now, the player starts on these beams and you can move across and if you fall off then we're going to do something. So how are we going to do this? We're going to need a collider or a trigger at first. So when we hit that trigger, we're going to kill the player. So I'm going to, first off, I'm going to create a cube and I'm going to sort of put it to the level of the water. Then I'm going to just scale it out. So it encapsulates probably everywhere that we can move for the most part. You can make it as big or as small as you need it to be. And you know, I'll pull it down to where the water is. I can potentially get rid of the mesh renderer, so we just leave the um, trigger like that. We want to say that it is trigger. We want to make sure that our character is a tag of player. If not already, make sure that it is. And once we've got that, we can call this um, respawn trigger. And then what we want to do is we want to create a respawn point. And when we create the script that we're going to do, we could use this over and over so you could respawn at different checkpoints, let's say. But for this instance, we're going to create game object, create empty, and we're going to create an empty game object. And you can see the empty game object is just about here. Where I'm going to place it, I'm going to sort of place it roughly where my character is. And make sure that it's slightly above it, just so that when you spawn in, you don't uh, spawn too close to the object and fall through it. So once we've done that, we've got two things. We've got the uh, trigger. And we've got the, we'll call this respawn point one. And then from there, we're going to create a simple script. So right click, create C sharp. And then we're going to call this... Um, just call it respawn, it doesn't really matter, it can be called whatever you feel that you need it to be called. Then open up in Visual Studio or MonoDevelop, whichever program you're using. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the two starting methods that we have. So in this side, the initial class, we're going to say void on trigger enter. And then in brackets, collider and then other. I'm going to have two curly brackets below there. And then just before that, what we're going to do is we're going to reference the player and reference a spawn point that we're going to want, as in the things that we just created. So I'm just going to put some square brackets and write serialize field because I'm going to write two private variables that I don't need them to be public because I don't need to access them from anywhere else. And I want them still to be seen in the inspector. So if I use serialize field, it helps me do that. So I can put private transform and I will call this player and then I will do another square brackets then serialize field in there and I will say private transform and then call this respawn point and what I usually like to do is just um, shove them up together so that they're nicely aligned then what we're going to write inside the on trigger enter is we're going to say that player dot transform with a lowercase t this time dot position will be equal to the respawn point will be equal to the respawn point dot transform dot position so it's pretty simple really all we're doing is we're saying that when we hit the collider we're going to make sure that the players transform position so the players x y and z position are going to be just the same as the respawn points position and then what we can do is save that out we can find our respawn trigger that we created earlier. We can add our script to that. And then it's going to be asking for our player and the respawn point that we want. So we can add the FPS controller that I already had in the scene. And you can bring that in from the standard assets. And you can use, you can add spawn point one as well. So now when we test this out and we press play, 
you'll notice that I can play the game, I can run around and potentially do all the platforming that I need to do, but if I fall into the water, you can see that I instantly respawned and I can do it again and I have spawned back into the position that we previously were. Obviously you might have some problems where say I'm doing this and I'm still running, you know you can just you can keep on moving because you forget that you've respawned so you could disable um, the player's movement while you're respawning. And similarly if you duplicated this collider here and put it over here and then had another spawn point which could be spawn point two, you could have multiple sort of checkpoints so if you fell off back here um, you would then respawn up here. And all you do is just realistically need to duplicate this collider and that would be fine. And just make sure they don't overlap. So pretty much that's the be all and end all of creating a simple sort of respawn point for a game that might be a simple platformer. You're just transforming the player's position to the a position that you want with an empty game object. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.